It's Prevent Child Abuse Month, and today local judges and youth advocates placed pinwheels at Greater Nevada Field to bring awareness to the problem and the resources available locally. Colo 8 News Now's Chris Buckley has this story. There are nearly a thousand children in foster care in Washoe County alone. And that's a giant need in this community and we really want people to be aware of it. People to think of volunteering as costs. People to think of bringing uh, services and resources to social services. To bring recognition to that challenge, local judges and youth advocates set up pinwheels on the lawn of Greater Nevada Field. We're really excited. Anytime we can be a part of any youth initiative and the betterment of the youth in our community, uh, we're completely behind it. And I think if you ask anyone, we're all big kids that work in sports. The National Council of Juvenile and Family Court Judges is based in Reno, but they train judges all over the nation. To learn all things about juvenile and family law, domestic violence, uh, sex trafficking, opioid use, all things substance abuse, so that not only do they understand the law in these cases, but also the science behind it and the research to help support uh, confident decision making so that children that go through the court cases and the families can expect the most educated judges to move these cases to the best resolution for family. The foster care numbers have been steady over the past few years, but the hope is to add resources to get those numbers down. We need mental health resources. We need foster homes. More than anything else, we need foster homes. Uh, so people who would be willing to open their homes and hearts to kids uh, for a short and a long-term uh, basis. I'm an optimist. I think that if you get enough, enough uh, community support, enough community awareness, that we can really begin to drive the numbers down, keep kids at home in healthy homes that work for them. There are 400,000 kids in foster care nationwide. In Reno, Chris Buckley, Colo 8 News Now.